Well, hi, everybody. This is your stay-at-home grandma, and I'm bringing you a review on a book that I read. I don't generally do that. Well, I read a lot, obviously. You know, you see behind me, but and there's more on the other side. But um, I got this book, and it's called The Power of Color, and it's by Noah, Noah Goldhirsch. And I found it very intriguing because I was, before I got re retired from counseling, you know, I started studying colors and healing and all that. And, um, which has always been a Native American ritual, so to speak. And you know that I am part Native American. Uh, if you don't know, now you know. And um, I just started reading it and I couldn't put it down. It was very interesting. And I did copy out. I mean, I wrote out and I typed out some different things. Like, for instance, he gave you some animals. Give you a couple of them, okay? And it talks about the lion represents power, courage, leadership, and the ability to lead others along the right path. And then I'll give you three. And then there's the dolphin because there's a lot of them. Um, the dolphin represents strong desire to live freely with pleasure and fun. Engage in love and harmonious life with environmental with environment. However, a painting of a dolphin might indicate respiratory problems. Okay. Now, a fish. A fish represents the issue of money, fertility, and also a symbol of economic abundance and fertility and success. So that's what he did with the fish. And if you read it, it kind of makes sense. At least it does to me. You know, because there's just so many things about the animals and even us that's very intriguing. Now, just for, I have to figure out what I did because I thought I put, thought I put, oh yeah, okay. So then you get, I'm going to give you some colors. Just a couple. Okay, purple. A purple candle is effective for requesting recovery, gratitude with what what is closing cycles and particularly suitable when requesting abundance and ec economic security. There was a controversy on candle burning and now um, my mother was Catholic, so there was a lot of candle and incense burning. So I kind of learned it from the Catholics and things. And, and um, I am now Methodist, so, you know, I've been Methodist for a long time. When I was pastor, I was in the Church of God, so, and that's a whole other story for another time. But I really don't see anything wrong with burning candles if it's in a positive way. I don't burn candles because, because I had a stroke, so that's a no-no. I don't know who that is. And, um, but I do, you know... I, I just don't because, like I said, I'm I'm not afraid of it. But anyway, and then there's um um an orange candle. An orange candle is an effective when requesting joy, good connection, and among people and raising energy. So I kind of read that and I was like, okay, you know, I don't do it, but some other people might want to know. Um, now there's a couple of other pages that I thought were really good. This is, and I didn't copy it out in color, I don't know why, but this is the classic wheel. It's called the color wheel. Now, I also have a prayer wheel, so, you know, I think that that's really good. And then it gives you the choices of numbers between 1 and 13. So, you have to read it to find out, and you should read it. I'll tell you how to, I'll tell you how to get it, of course. And then there's also the protection and release rituals. Now, although he says rituals, they're usually things that people do in almost everyday life. Counselors as well as teachers and other things. Um, also with drawings and hand, rainbow, um, drawing specific shapes, hand, hand drawing, um, drawing um, the, the lower, the trees, whose lower branches are trailing downward, gives a whole description of the trees and pictures of it. Um, he gives you the, the Native American release form. And 
lastly, he says, thank you. I'm going to read you what he says for the thank you. A power, power of gratitude in advance and good intentions. Words that sound so simple and routine, thank you very much, are actually magical words, wonderful, strong, beneficial, infinitively powerful words. Our ability to say thank you so very much in gratitude to the universe best allows us to receive what we ask for. Most of us are accustomed to thank you only after receiving what we have requested because we are t we've been taught to adhere to a material, um, not the spiritual concept, according to which acceptance precedes gratitude. Okay, so it's cosmic truth that giving opens the way to giving. And acceptance opens the way to acceptance. And gratitude in advance opens the way to giving and receiving. When we show gratitude in advance for something we want, we actually invite it to, to into our lives, enabling to, it to manifest and reach us. Showing gratitude in advance enables us to transform our desires into reality in areas of life. So I'm going to put everything up. I'd like for you to try to get it and get it on Kindle. I'm, I, all my books are now turned into ebooks. Um, I don't have any paperbacks really. If somebody wants one, I order it. So I would actually say that you do the same because he has paperback and then he has it on Kindle. Um, if you like this, like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you ask me, want to know any questions about it, just ask me in the, in the comment section. I love you. Take care. Again, the power of power. Okay? Take care. Be safe. God bless. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.